Hey, um, I'm trying to get this up before Halloween is over. Um, I this is gonna be my J uh, Theater Man Seven 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 Halloween Special. Ugh. But um, that's that's what the theme is. Um, I really like Halloween. Uh, it's one of my favorite um, holidays. But um, so I thought I should do something special. Uh, for Halloween, I was gonna do it earlier today when I posted that other video, but uh, I didn't. And um, actually, it was good I didn't because I was gonna review um Halloween the uh the the whole not whole series but like Halloween the movies, and uh, I hadn't seen them in a while, so I went over to a friend's house and we watched one and two. Um, so for my Halloween special, I'll be reviewing Halloween. Um, I'm going to be reviewing one and two, and, um, I'll be mentioning some of the other ones, but I'm not necessarily reviewing them. Okay, so Halloween, uh, one. My mom made me watch Halloween one when I was about eight years old. Uh, I had, of course, nightmares. Um, Michael Myers is the only, uh, slasher type character out of like you know Freddy Krueger and Jason and them that I'm still terrified of um for some reason if I could picture if I picture Jason or Freddy Krueger walking down a hallway I'd be like man if I pictured Michael Myers walking down a hallway like how he walks especially um it scares the shit out of me um I'm actually very scared of him um I mean, I'm not like a little girl scared of him, but I still have these memories of of him. Um, actually, I, I there was a period of time. This sounds really weird. It sounds like something a loser would say. There was this period of time where uh, every time, every uh, year around Halloween, it went for about four years. Every uh, time, I don't. It was at different days, but like around the Halloween time, um, uh, I'd have a dream that um Michael Myers was trying to break into my house and I was trying to figure out what to do and then um it was slightly different every time um then I stopped all of a sudden so I don't I don't get those anymore but uh going on to the movie um I love this movie it's probably one of my favorite uh, horror films of all time um it's it's just great cuz it has that personal touch to it from it being a uh, an independent film not a lot of people know that it's an independent film it's uh, one of the highest grossing independent films ever um, it's kind of like the um, paranormal activity of the 70s um, that's kind of what it's like it was kind of like that back then um, but there's just so many good things about this movie it doesn't. It's not like the slashers you see today. Like you would never want to compare this to like the new Jason movie. Um, that's kind of what slashers have become to. Um, it has a story, and it has a g good psychological backstory and a good psychological story. Period. And um, I always enjoy watching it. I never um, get sick of it. Um, it's it's just. It's just one of those uh, movies that it's it doesn't it's not really dated because um, it's set in a certain period, technically, and um, it's just it's just a fun movie to watch. I'm not scared to watch it anymore. I was terrified when I was little. Um, I don't get scared of it, but I still love watching it. It's just one of those movies that. It doesn't take away the the greatness of the movie if you're not scared of it. Um, you can still watch it without being scared and just like it. Um, so we watched that tonight, and uh, it was great. And then we watched Halloween 2. Uh, Halloween 2, I don't... Um, I don't really think of it as Halloween 2. I think of it as after a commercial of Halloween 1. Like it's like we went to commercial and now we're back. It's it's that close to the first movie. It actually overlaps the first movie, kind of like Back to the Future. And uh, 
I really I really like that. And uh so it just feels like one giant movie. Uh kind of the same with Lord of the Rings, kind of. But uh yeah, that's that just makes it all better and it just makes it this this giant part. And the thing I liked about the second movie is uh introduces more characters and it um gives you more information about the characters and has a nice plot twist. And it gives you different settings. You're not just they're not just in a house. Now they're you know, there's a hospital and then there's the streets during Halloween night. It just seems like hell. The entire night seems just like a night of hell. And um it's really just great. Um Then Halloween three. Season of the Witch is probably the worst movie ever. Uh it doesn't have any of the other characters from the other movies. It's a completely different storyline. To be fair, I um, haven't seen it in a while. Um, I don't plan to see it. Um, but it just doesn't, it just didn't work. That's why Halloween 4 ta -da, came, came and uh, they got, they brought Halloween with Michael Myers back. And that was just great. Um, I watched 4 and 5 the, the other day. It was on TV. But um, 4 is okay. Um, it's not the best, it's not the worst. Um, then is it, I think it's the niece, but I'm not sure. I think it's the niece, the little girl. And, uh, she's okay, she's a good actress, but, uh, eh, it's, it's good. Um, but I, yeah, and then the, I, the fifth movie I didn't like as much. Uh, it, with that, uh, kind of... Her with the connection with Michael every time he was killing someone, that just kind of threw it out of the water. And then the rest of the movies kind of sucked up until there. Um, and then H2O came out, and I haven't seen H2O forever. It's been a really long time since I've seen H2O. But um, I really enjoyed H2O. It brought back the feeling of the first two movies, which it does, it's supposed to, because it takes place 20 years after the second movie. Um... It's kind of like the director knew those other movies were bad and said, this takes place after, you should watch this after Halloween 2. And um, it's good. And the movie after that, I don't remember what it's called, but it sucks. And don't, I refuse to watch that movie and don't watch it. Because, um, spoiler alert, at the end of Halloween H2O, she cuts Michael's head off. And, um, and so that's, I think that's finally the finisher for that. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I think that's the finisher for, for the Halloween movies. So I recommend seeing Halloween 1, of course, and Halloween of two, and Halloween 2. And then just go on to H2O. Um, it's not great. Um, Halloween 4 is okay. Um, I, would, I, I think my, the ones that I watch the most are Halloween 1 and 2. But I think that's about it for this. Um, I didn't really tell the story about it at all really uh, I didn't really say just look it up <laughs> pretty much it's it's pretty simple story um, and if you haven't heard the story then you really need to or just see the movies and you'll know so uh, that's it